It's Rosie! Hi, Rosie! <laughs> Rosie just got up from her morning nap. And I went to put her in her donut, because I thought she'd have more fun there. But she complained. Apparently she just wanted to sit in her chair. She's not sitting there all free and everything. She does have a seatbelt on. We haven't actually found the tray yet. So, I'm just going to sit in the chair here. Ugh! Uh, that's kind of a cool effect, eh? It's like the chair came up to sit behind me. Ooh, trippy. Well, greetings, hello, welcome to, uh, I guess you could call it the epilogue to the Big Move 2008. Uh, it is presently Friday, April 4th, 2008, and I have spent the past two days unpacking boxes and organizing stuff and I just thought I'd sort of show you where we're at. There's still a lot to do but um... <laughs> hey sweetie. She's wondering what daddy's doing talking to this thing in his hand. Um, but I thought I'd show you where we're at. So okay. <clears throat> of course, knowing me, one of the first things to get set up is the entertainment unit so that's all good. Those VHS tapes, they're actually going back into a box and going into storage. I just needed to get them out of the box they're in to get out some other stuff. The games are actually going to be moved over to that cabinet because Sonetta wants to use that shelf for her DVDs. And then we got the first shelf of DVDs. Bottom shelf is all VHS because I don't have anywhere else to put it. And then, of course, there's VHS in the row behind. And then we got the other shelf of DVDs. <coughs> It's more VHS, but um, yeah, the way I packed these basically was more or less in the order that I had them at the at the house, um, so it was easy to reorganize. Computer area still needs to be done. Yes, can you believe it? Me without a computer for more than two days. I set up the table, dining room table. So you can see I'm in the process of unpacking this box here. Uh, did a lot of kitchen stuff. You probably can't tell. We fired up the George Foreman last night. But yeah, we got dishes going on here. Yeah, let's get some light. There we go. Okay, so we got dishes. And then this cupboard is just sort of assorted food items. And then uh, there's some more stuff down here, which is great. So this is going to be cleaning supplies. There's not much. There's the toolbox and some a bag of bags. And this is just some additional stuff, pots and stuff. And, uh, if we go into the hallway here, I'll just uh, flick on the light. You can see, pull back a bit here. You can see this stack of boxes. <clears throat> These are all boxes that I've unpacked and organized over the past couple of days. Then if we go in here, It doesn't look as impressive as it did when they were all assembled, but all these boxes, all these Tupperware tubs, I unpacked and organized as well. So you'll notice there's a little more space in here. All the garbage bags are basically clothes and stuff. And this is Bear. Hello, Bear. And if we head on over to Rosie's room, you can see there's a lot more space in here. The uh, movers, I guess under the instructions of Annetta, originally took all the boxes and moved them all in here. So we got my stack of comic books. There's other comic book. There's a comic book box there, and there's another one around here somewhere. But basically, uh, I organized these by room. So that corner is all stuff that's staying in Rosie's room. The trunk is staying in Rosie's room. That's living room stuff, and then the back one is bedroom stuff and then Captain Power. <laughs> so Captain Power is probably going to go on top of uh, one of the bookshelves. I haven't quite decided which yet. So that's basically where we're at. Things are coming along nicely, slowly but surely. Um, the trunk here, these are the shelves for our bookshelf in the bedroom, but the trunk here definitely needs to come away because the baseboard heater is right there and that trunk is full of records and laser discs. So that's something that's on the to-do list for today. But, um, yeah. 
One thing that's nice, uh, well, I guess the reason that Annetta wanted all the boxes in there was to keep the living room area free. But the living room, as you can see, is, is quite spacious, actually. we got a good space, nice, car nice clean new carpet. Uh, comes with a pre-installed Rosie, which is great. <laughs> that's right, you love our new living room, don't you? One thing she was doing yesterday is uh, she likes to crawl around on the floor. I always have to be mindful of keeping the PS2 cable away. We can't find the remote for our DVD player. We know it's around somewhere, but uh, that's the beauty of having a PS2 as well. We've been watching DVDs on the PS2. Actually, just last night, we were watching Amadeus, the director's cut. It's three hours long, so we basically just watched the first half of it, and then we're going to watch the rest tonight. And then on my breaks, I was reading The Complete Far Side, Volume 1 which is a great collection. I also have the complete Calvin and Hobbes collection, which uh, I also still have to work my way through. But anyway, she loves roaming around on the floor. She's started to crawl a lot now, and she's also started to climb. So she was actually pulling herself, she's actually started like pulling herself up on furniture and stuff. So one thing she figured out yesterday, she loves this little camera bag, which is why I've left it there. So she'd climb up on the camera bag, then climb up on the laptop bag, and then use that to get over to the couch. You just kind of be shimmying from one to the next using it like a step ladder. So if you notice they're like sort of different heights. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's funny because she would get about midway and then not know how to go with the last little bit and start panicking. So <laughs> daddy would come along and help her out. Isn't that right? Daddy would come and help you out. Yeah. <laughs> she's also got a little bit of a cold right now so she's been a little cream. Sorry, just hit the button by accident there. But uh, yeah, she's got a little bit of a cold right now, so she's a little cranky because of that. But uh, boy, I tell you, you know how a cold usually knocks out us, like you and me? Sure doesn't diminish her energy any. If this is what she's like when she's sick, holy Moses, when she gets better, she's going to be a little spitfire of energy. Uh, but uh, so yeah, it's been tiring, needless to say. Because basically I've been having to cart the boxes out of Rosie's room, out to here. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, and then organize them out here and whatever. But, uh, yeah, so on the agenda for today is just basically more of the same. Just more boxes and stuff. The good news is, though, we've got a lot. Once everything's organized, we're going to have a lot of space in the bedroom. Which means I might be able to set up my green screen again. Yeah, it's actually the only room I can think of where I could realistically set it up. So I might uh, might do some green screen stuff again. Um, I was thinking of doing a, sort of a final scene for the uh, Two Guys series, uh, the, the footage that I completed. Do sort of an epilogue to that and then post that so you can see what was done and then get some idea where the story was going to go had it been finished. Um, so that way I can at least give you guys something for your infinite patience and understanding and uh, as a little thank you to everybody who supported the project while it was going. Um, so yeah, so that's a possibility for the future. In the meantime, um, you know, don't expect that like within the next two days or anything. It's, I don't even know if I'm going to do it. It's kind of up in the air. I probably will because I'd like to give you guys something that, uh, you know, those of you who have been hanging on waiting to see what happens with that. It's only fair. Give me my, you know, give me your support all this time, and uh, you know, I'd like to give a little something back. That's right. But uh, I can't just sort of throw it together. I want to do something nice, you know, make it, you know, a nice little presentation for you. So it'll probably be about ten minutes long, and uh, give you a look at what was done, and then a little epilogue that sort of tells you where it was going to go from there, and then you get some idea of what would have been had it been done. But, uh, yeah, that's another story for another time. All right, so I'm going to uh, <clears throat> finish my morning coffee. It's just uh, it's quarter after 10. I just woke up about 45 minutes ago, about 9.30. And I've just gone off to school. So, uh, yeah, so I think uh, Rosie and I are going to put on some cartoons and uh, watch uh, and uh, get back to packing. Yesterday, on the cartoon agenda, we watched several episodes from Volume 2 of Batman the Animated Series. Best Batman series ever. And then we watched... Um, 
Where is it? Then we watched all of Volume 3 of Family Guy. So this was the first 13 episodes after the show had been brought back after being cancelled. I hadn't watched them for a while, so we watched those. And then what did we watch? Oh yeah, and then we were watching uh, Mission Hill. Which is another, uh, basically, one season wonder. <laughs> but great show. It was really funny, really well written, and uh, just hilarious. And um, unfortunately, the rest of the world didn't think so. But uh, it does have its its fans. So we were watching that, and then uh, after dinner, Annette and I watched uh, the first half of Amadeus. So there you go. I know what DVDs I was watching. Today, I'm not sure. Not sure. Might watch more Batman. Might put on some Thundercats. I was thinking Voltron, actually. Voltron would be cool. I'd like to get back to some Voltron. Would you like some Voltron? Would you like to watch some more Voltron, sweetie? Hmm? Would you be into that? Some some Voltron action? <laughs> it's like, whatever, I just want to eat my foot. <laughs> okay. Well, this update has already gone far too long. Ah. <sighs> So, thanks for watching, and until next time, sayonara.